Hey, buddy, what's up? They didn't have it. Uh, what didn't they have? The fritter. Like the an apple fritter? Apple fritter? Oh, yeah, you like those. Went into the donut store today. I yeah. asked them and they were, they were out. I mean, did you order something else? Oh, yeah. thank you. You got me a coffee. It was free. Oh. I don't even like coffee. So I came here to ask you. Yeah. What can you do? About them being out of apple fritters? Yes. I do what have can apples. You do? Yeah. Um, well, I mean, I was going to whip up some pancakes for breakfast, but... Could you somehow make an apple fritter? Into a pancake. It's amazing. To begin with, we're gonna chop two Granny Smith apples and place them in a saucepan with half a cup of brown sugar and half a cup of butter. We're gonna be putting these on to a low heat and allowing them to simmer together. At the same time, we're gonna be putting three tablespoons of butter in a small pan and allowing that to melt. Now in a bowl, we're gonna be putting our dry ingredients together. We're gonna to be putting two cups of gluten-free flour, one and a half teaspoons of xanthan gum, two and a half teaspoons of baking powder, and half a teaspoon of baking soda. One tablespoon of cinnamon. And the last thing we're adding into our dry ingredients is a teaspoon of Himalayan salt. Once we whisk this together, we're gonna to set it aside and start working on our liquid ingredients. In a bowl or a large measuring cup, we're gonna be putting two cups of milk. And since I don't have any buttermilk here, but I wanna be using it, I'm gonna be adding in two tablespoons of vinegar to make my own. To this, I'm gonna be adding, well, a generous amount of vanilla. I'd say right about a tablespoon of vanilla and two eggs. Just whisk this together and then incorporate it into your dry ingredients. Once we have our liquid and dry ingredients incorporated together, we're gonna to be also adding in that melted butter that we had set to the side. And now to this, we're gonna be using a slotted spoon to separate the chopped apples from the brown sugar butter mixture. Once you have your apples and butter mixed in, lightly grease your griddle and you can cook away. All right, so we've got all of our delicious ingredients together, and in theory, these will turn into, uh, they will turn into some delicious pancakes. So let's put them on the griddle and see what happens. You'll know these are ready to flip when the edges pull away and begin to bubble. And there you have it. Delicious apple fritter pancakes topped off that brown sugar butter that we cooked our apples in, a little bit of salted caramel, and a sprinkle of spice. How can that not be delicious? Oh, hey. Apple fritter pancakes. Dude. It's amazing. This is amazing. This is wonderful. He seems satisfied. If you give him a try, don't forget to leave us a comment below and don't forget to click subscribe. Until next time.